Israel sent tanks into eastern Jabalia in the northern Gaza Strip on Sunday. This comes after a night of heavy aerial and ground bombardments, killing and wounding dozens, the Hamas-run health ministry said. Jabalia is the biggest of Gaza's eight historic refugee camps and is home to more than 100,000 people. Late on Saturday, Israel's military spokesperson Daniel Hagari said its forces operating in Jabalia were preventing Hamas from re-establishing its military capabilities there. Also late on Saturday, an airstrike hit Deir el Bala, killing at least eight people, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. Palestinians displaced for a second time attempted to set up tents there, as Israel proceeds with its plan for a ground attack on Rafa. More families, estimated in the thousands, were leaving Rafa as Israel's military pressure intensified. Tank shells landed across the city as the army gave new evacuation orders, covering some neighbourhoods in the centre of the city, calling for Gazans to head to what it calls an expanded humanitarian area in Al Mawasi. The armed wing of Hamas and the Islamic Jihad said their fighters attacked Israel forces in several areas inside Gaza with anti-tank rockets and mortar bombs. Outside of Gaza, a rocket directly struck a house in the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon on Sunday. Israel's military operation in Gaza has killed close to 35,000 Palestinians, according to Gaza's health ministry. The war was triggered by a Hamas-led attack on southern Israel on October 7th, in which 1,200 people were killed and more than 250 people taken hostage, according to Israeli tallies. Egypt's foreign minister said on Sunday that Cairo would continue its mediation between Israel and Hamas and urged the two sides to show the flexibility and the will needed to reach a ceasefire deal.